Two days ago, we went to distribute food relief to 4.3 million affected Kenyans in an emergency program that has forced us to reallocate funds budgeted for education and health. The trade-offs we are forced to make between indispensable public goods is evident that climate change is directly threatening our people's lives, health and future. Moreover, due to drought, many children have now dropped out of school. We have been compelled to make school feeding a priority in order to keep our children in class. Kenya's world-renowned wildlife heritage has not been spared either, and carcasses of elephants, zebras, wildebeest, and many other wild fauna litter our parks. We have had to spend US dollars, three million, to supply feed and water to wildlife in the last three months. Again, this backdrop, the lengthy discussions at COPS with its stalling, delaying tactics and procrastination that have hampered implementation and delivery is simply cruel and unjust. We cannot afford to spend more time scutting around the real issues and we must break out of the open-ended, process-focused discussions we are trapped in. Further delay will make us busy spectators as calamity wipes out lives and livelihoods. As we speak, Mr. Chairman, the pledge made 13 years ago in Copenhagen, committing US dollars 100 billion annually remains unfulfilled. Such a gracious and unexplained default is a major cause of persisting distrust and neither is there any sound reason for the continuing pollution.